Sunday Soup Club. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tucker McIntyre. Uh, this morning, I'd like to share a little about caring for the elderly. In Isaiah 46, 4, the Bible says, Even to your old age, I will be the same. And even to your green years, I will bear you. I have done it, and I will carry you, and I will bear you, and I will deliver you. Just as God promises to provide and care for his followers, we as Christians should try strive to do the same. As babies and as young adults, every conceivable need we have is taken care of by someone else. In most instances, it is someone much older, whether it be a parent, grandparent, or a caretaker. As we age and we sometimes become less able to care for ourselves, the roles can be changed, reversed. We, all, we often begin to help the people who helped us as infants, children, and young adults. Too many times, young and middle-aged adults are too busy to reach out or we forget about our elders in their time of need. In striving to be more like our Heavenly Father, we should remember the elderly and give unselfishly of our time, hearts, and abilities in order to care for them. Some ways that we members of the body of the, the Shelby Presbyterian do this are visiting our homebound members and those in assisted living and nursing care, whether that be singing Christmas carols or the youth delivering poinsettias or deacons taking treat bags to our shut-ins. Our extended family, our Rainbow Connection children, make cards each month to bring ch cheer to our elderly members. We are also fortunate to have a faithful crew of Stephen ministers to minister to anyone needing guidance, elderly or otherwise. Often if you take time to connect with your elders, it is you that is blessed, whether it be from a new friendship, gaining a new perspective, receiving sage advice, or discovering something new by yourself. Giving of yourself almost always ends with you getting so much. Levi Leviticus 19.32 tells us, you should rise up before the gray-headed and honor the aged, and you shall revere your God, I am the Lord. In this verse, we are commanded to honor the aged, and in doing so, we are honoring God. Here God reminds us that he is the Lord, and we are called to be servants. Timothy 5, 1 to 2 says, Do not sharply rebuke an older man, but rather appeal him as a father to the younger men as brothers, the older women as mothers, and the younger women are as sisters in all purity. Just as we are taught to revere and respect our parents, we should also revere our elders in the same fashion. In Proverbs 16.31, the author says, A gray head is a crown of glory. It is found in the way of righteousness. But, but don't worry. All you out there who faithfully visit your hairdresser, the gray head is more of a measure of age than actual color. <laughs> over and over in the scriptures, we are told to revere, to honor, to heed the wisdom, and to care for our elders. If we heed the words of the scripture, we can find happiness and give happiness to some of our greatest treasures, our elderly community. Thank you all for listening.